Yeah, so the next question is how to manually add a member to your website. Um, I get this tons of time, uh, tons of times when I'm reviewing tickets during the day. Um, you know, a lot of people, what they what they like to do is manually um, start building their website and a lot of their clients, they might not be as tech savvy. Uh, so they handle all the work uh, of uploading the members and updating the information. So they don't want to have to leave the admin panel to add their members. So a great way to do that is by manually adding a member through uh, the back end of the website. So Jay, if you could take us to the, the admin panel dashboard. Sure. Let's do that. So um, you would want to go to the dashboard here and you can direct us where to manually add a member. Yeah, so once we're in the dashboard, what we'll want to do is click on members. Okay. And after we click on members, we'll click on search members. Got it. And from here, well, let's wait for it to load real quick. All right, and once we're in the member, um, the, um, the member section here, well, it's super straightforward. We'll just go to the top right corner where it says add member. Okay, and what is this? And very easily, uh, we'll want to edit uh, the status of the member if we want the member to be active or not active. Uh, we can Then we would add the email address for the member. So maybe we can add a, a little test email there, jason at jason.com. Um, and then we can go and add a simple password. Uh, all members have to have a password, even if you're going to handle it for your clients, but um, you know, I usually use the same password for all mine, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll want to choose the uh, membership level or the product that we're going to add this member to. Uh, so then we would just select any of the existing products that you've already created and we would select it. Got you. Well, a, a question that came up in the Facebook group uh, the other day is how do I manually add a claim listing member to my site? So you would create the new member in this way, and then you would select the membership level that is connected to a claim listing type of account. Yeah, and since you already created the, you already updated the premium product to be a claim listing, we just need to select that product, right? Now, what if I'm adding a business, Gabe, but I really don't know their email address. I just want to put their information in. What do I put in the email address field? And if you, it is necessary to add an email in this particular form, but if you don't uh, want to add an email address uh, to your to your business, it really doesn't matter. You can add any uh, email address, and it won't show up on the front end of the website. Got you. you so can I add test. So I should just add, just put whatever here, just to, to to move forward with the process until I eventually get the real email address of the of the person. Yes. Got it. Okay. So uh, if you have the email address, enter it. If you don't, just Put whatever comes to your mind first. Obviously, Jason's always first on my mind first. So we'll do create new account now. And, and then after we create new, we hit on create new account, the member is officially created, right? Um, but then if we want to add information, other information like uh, the company name or the phone number or any other information, we're going to want to log in to the member account. So we'll click on log in. Okay. And then this will take us to the regular uh, member dashboard that we all uh, know and work in. Uh, and we can add all the information as a, like the company, if the if this member is a company, if it's an individual, and all the other good stuff that, uh, you know, by default comes with our forms or that you have custom added um, into your form. Got it. And here's that email that I entered, jason at jason.com. So let's just uh, complete the process and we'll just put Los Angeles. It's super easy to make a listing. Um, oh, you know, we know this site, this demo site doesn't have the Google Maps uh, connected, but let's just keep moving forward. Okay, lots of links, save and continue. And I guess that's like the minimum for a profile. So if we go here, I've just added Jones Design to my website and he's a claim listing because I assigned him to that membership level. Uh, we put as claim listing. Um, I, I think that's that's basically exactly. it, right? Yeah, and once you and, and maybe we can go over it real quick. Um, once, let's say, if this was a paid product, not a claim product, right? Uh, if you wanted to actually give this, uh, 
or collect uh, uh, money from this member and actually charge them, you since you created the member manually, you also need to charge them manually. So if we go to the admin and refresh the members um, dashboard. All right, and here's that new member, Jones Design. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to do is hover over the Actions tab and go to the Payment History section. Gotcha. So if you're going to manually add a member and you're going to and they maybe they maybe they signed up at a, an exhibition or convention they, and they filled out a form to be added to your website, who knows what it or they gave you their information over the phone. You have an 800 number for people to call. Um, this is manually adding them, and now we're going to manually add their um, payment information. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we'll want to do is first add their credit card info. So to the top right, there's a CC info button. Okay. And that's where we can add a credit card. And we'll just want to add their first name, their last name, and their card details in here. Okay. So let's say I, I did all that. Mm -hmm. And then after we add the card details, what we'll want to do is hover over to the new order at the top right. Okay. So. And we'll and in here what we can do is select uh, the membership level or the product that we want to charge them and the billing cycle of that product. Gotcha. This is nice. It lets you know that there's no card on file. Uh, but let's go ahead and do it. So let's say I want to um, charge this as a featured member, and I guess these are the prices I've inputted in the uh, the, the product settings. Let's do annually. And what if I want to give this guy a deal because we talked on the phone? Can I override this 99.99? Yeah, price? absolutely. There's a setting right there uh, to add the, yeah. the price that you want. And this price will be the price uh, forever for this client unless you update it. Okay. Uh, so it is literally overriding the annual price forever for the client. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to... You can also edit the start date as well. So if you want to charge them, say, uh, a month later and give them a demo, um, you can also do that and set the start date uh, from a month from today. Yeah, because I talked to this company and I told them I was going to give them six months free before we started billing them annually. So you're saying I can just click on start billing date and choose a date six months from now? Exactly. You can also do that. So one, Any date in the future. Two, three, four, five, six. So February 22nd. So he's going to be billed. His, so nothing's going to be billed today. Nothing will be built. Will be built today. It'll be built until that date. Gotcha. So I'm basically giving them six months free and about a 25% discount manually. Exactly. And this is also um, the method that you would use if you want to charge someone for a banner. So say uh, you have an existing client and they want to hire you for some advertising uh, on your website, you would go in. Well, first you would create a product for your banner and then you would go to this specific area and create an order on their account for that uh, particular banner and charge them for some advertising. I like it. So th it's not working on this site, guys, because it's a demo and there's no payment gateway hooked up to it. But Gabe, you bring up a great point. You, other products that you're probably selling or you're requesting people to inquire and then you have a sales process um, or you might be selling other products other than listings that people sign up to from your website. Uh, this is a great way to charge them manually. The first step is just creating the product uh, in your managed product section um, and then it'll be available when you want to create a new order for that member. Uh, super comprehensive, lots of information there, Gabe. Um, how to set up a member and even how to bill a member manually um, once you've added them to your site. Yeah, you know, th that it is something that gets asked a lot, and I'm happy that we could go over it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gabe, for Gabe's Corner. All righty, man. Thank you.